No compression in all cylinders. Causes. There are several reasons why an engine might have no compression in all cylinders. It's a serious issue, and diagnosing it correctly is crucial to get things running smoothly again. Here are some common causes. Complete timing belt failure. One of the most common reasons is a complete failure of the timing belt or chain. The timing belt coordinates the rotation of the crankshaft and camshaft so that the engine's valves open and close at the right times during each cylinder's intake and exhaust strokes. If the timing belt snaps, the camshaft stops moving, leading to the valves remaining in a position that prevents compression. Valve Train Issues Another cause could be related to the valve train. Think bent valves, broken valve springs, or camshaft issues. If the valves aren't sealing properly, you won't get proper compression. This is often the result of more severe mechanical failures or wear and tear over time. Blown head gasket. A blown head gasket is another possible culprit. The head gasket seals the engine block and cylinder head, and if it's compromised, it can lead to a lack of compression. This isn't just bad for compression. It can also lead to coolant mixing with oil, causing additional problems. Severe piston damage. Severe piston damage can also result in no compression. Cracked or severely damaged pistons will fail to maintain a proper seal within the cylinder, leading to loss of compression. This kind of damage is usually visualized through a teardown and inspection. Cracked engine block or cylinder head. A cracked engine block or cylinder head can cause a loss of compression across all cylinders. While this is less common, it's certainly a possibility worth exploring, especially if the vehicle has been exposed to extreme conditions. Complete loss of cylinder sealing. This can result from numerous factors such as damaged piston rings, broken connecting rods, or simply extreme wear and tear over time that has affected the engine's ability to seal its cylinders properly. Basic troubleshooting steps would include a compression test or a leak down test to identify the root cause. It's a serious issue that often requires significant repairs, but diagnosing it accurately can save a lot of time and money in the long run. So, if you're finding no compression in all cylinders, it's time to roll up your sleeves or consult a professional to pinpoint the exact cause.